all right folks what is going on today back yes i am back um uh, if you guys have missed the i am sorry i i, I apologize uh, i was trying to get some recording done but i just was not able to so instead of just rushing out a poor recording where i play against a, just a random dumb deck or something like that you know what it I, I don't know why i said that because if i play against a random dumb deck right now you guys will be seeing it but um yeah i was not able to actually get a recording done so um yeah that's why i just didn't upload uh tuesday and then once again uh on wednesday i guess i, I just did not have enough time um it was a little hectic this week so yeah uh well not this week but last week so yeah i was not able to record but you guys are going to get you guys this videos today and we're going to be starting off with um my version of zombie stun i'm going to at least test my theories out and stuff like that um two zombie decks from yc sydney topped uh we also have a new ghost ash card and stuff like that and a lot of people run around saying alter guys need to get hit we're going to get into all of that during the um during the video but i do want to show you guys one of the replays i literally just recorded um and i just want to show you guys pretty much a, a little sample of this now before this i was running um the the new ghost boat uh the new ghost girl hand trap which i really love a lot of people think you don't don't really i mean it's kind of a mixed thing a lot of people kind of think she's good um i don't know why they was comparing her to maxi i can understand why they compared it to maxi uh, because it's kind of like a deterrent because i mean sometimes you don't want your opponent to gain all that life points because uh Yu-Gi-Oh now well not even now this is well yeah i would say more so now um in the latest couple of years always been like a you know you can make a big board but if you don't have enough stuff to stop me on my turn i'm going to basically kill you and giving your opponent probably twenty thousand life points or 50 like ten thousand life points or even eight thousand life points is this not a good idea if you, you're not able to build up a great board to pretty much stop your opponent for what they were doing but yeah i was playing that but then i switched it out for furlan because i wanted to make it tcg legal as of savage strike coming out next or the sneak peek is next week and then uh yeah this uh the original set releases on the first i believe or the second or something like that I believe it's the first yeah but anyways let's go ahead and get into the replay as you can see here i just start off with the zombie world because uh i could have started off with spiritualist but i don't think she was needed as of right now so we're just going to start off with the glow bloom to the Jushel and then go vampire sucker and then just pray that our opponent does not have a call by the grave and they do not so we get to draw a free card and yes we are playing robbery lore loads like i said a lot of people has always said like they've been playing zombie world robbery world and it's been shutting people down i know i've been hearing it a lot lately so i'm gonna throw it in here and i'm gonna listen to you guys and test it out and see how i like it so as you can see we're i believe we're playing against the fdk but he starts off with a i guess decent hand then he goes thunderbird and then he uses tough and i decide well since thunderbird can already attack over juice shell there's no reason not to negate the, uh, the sukunoko because if um if he uh what's the name if if i don't negate it he'll just run it over and continue all his plays next turn so i decided to negate it then he activates a sukunoko in hand i'm thinking you know what i might as well just try to limit his dangers as much as possible and as you can tell here he has two chupacabras so he has pretty much a 50 percent chance of missing and if he misses with chupacabra he doesn't get anything back and then like i said he can't use snake and yeah it's going to end up bad so what he decides to do is just normal summon zephyros going to Cerberus, pitching the chupacabra to bring back thunderbird and then he just goes into an attack uh and then he goes into a unicorn rightly so getting rid of the zombie world and so here i'm thinking all right i got the rivalry of warlords against dangers that's pretty good he has a set i don't know what it is but i'm pretty sure it's a spell card because he didn't use it i mean he uses white what how, how much was he off he was off two he was off two of them so yeah he was he was able to get there if he would have just used like the trooper card he could have got there um actually let's see what he actually would have drawn he would have thrown into these three i think he actually no no because he would have drew nasty uh no uh, we'll see but anyways, I uh, decided I drawn to a second copy of Rivalry Lorelords, and I was like, all right, well, you know what? This is kind of game. If he, like I said, if he wasn't able to kill me right there, he's going to probably lose. Then we're going to get out the sunset to go into a card. I feel like every deck should be playing uh, because it. I mean, not every deck, but every zombie deck should be playing because oh my god, is it so good? So we're going to use her effect to banish spiritualist, draw into a Gozuki, discarding the Banshee, and you guys already know we have the rivalry zombie world locked up, and so we're going to activate this zombie world and then get her Drew Shell back for free. And our opponent ends up scooping because for some reason he just did not want to play over a Drew Shell and a, a, and the Spirit Saga. And oh my god, and she's permanent. I really do like her, and I do like the little key tech but we'll see how it works we're gonna get into some live duels folks so stay tuned all right folks here we go and let's see what we can do 
with our zombie stone or attempt at a zombie stone. It looks like this man wants to go second because he did not. Oh, he decided to go first. And this hand is, this hand is fantastic. We open up zombie world and uh, technically zombie world and a rivalry. So, I mean, I think we're good. We definitely stop our opponent for a point of time. And he starts off with this guy um, and a diagram. Okay. So, the reason why he summoned this is because this can negate any effect. Well, you're just actually playing fire kings. Okay. <laughs> Uh, well, this is fine. This is going to be not that hard to really get rid of. Um, this is going to be a fucking problem, I would say. Wait, no, this kills this, right? Yeah, this kills this. So, actually, this is fine. Um, this is actually really fine. I just thought about that. Um, actually, yeah, yeah. We'll just start with this. And then we'll just see what our opponent has in store for us. What we're going to do here is, I guess, just ditch this. We're going to try to send from our deck to the graveyard. There's the Ash Blossom. Once again, that does not matter. Then we're also going to just use this, target the young Froilein, and then activate Glow Bloom's effect. And since we play two, we can just go ahead and add the Froilein. We can go ahead and get rid of this if we feel like it. And I think that's what we're going to do here. We're going to just run straight into this um, and then activate Froilein because Froilein is the, um, she, she's just so fucking good. Um, and that's another iteration of a plays you can def definitely do. So we're going to play a hot, wait, how much? It's 1,400 more. So we're going to just pay 1,500 for right now. Um, if Forlane was an attack, we would definitely pay more. Um, but uh, Forlane is not an attack. And I think he's only probably playing Ganesha. So yeah, he's going to probably get another one of that, which that's just fine because then we have, we have, oh, ooh, we can do, ooh, we can do that, folks. We actually, oh, actually, do we just do that play? That play seems good. But I think this is, you know what? No, no, no. Let's, 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 you know what? You, you, we probably shouldn't do this play. Oh, why did I do that? Um, what can this do? If this card, you can target it. Wait, wait, wait. If this, if you can negate the activation if you do destroy one of the fire watching it. Yeah. So we're just going to get the other card out of his hand. Oh, wait. Can he use He can't use it. Yeah, he can negate it. So we're just going to get his other fire king out of his hand. Because now we have the world art. So that, oh, fuck. That was not supposed to happen, folks. Is this a beast warrior too? Oh, thank God. All right. So, yeah, this um, that was a bad play. Don't don't uh, don't ever do what I just did. But it's OK. We're going to we're going to be able to uh, we're going to be able to pretty much out him. Yeah, that was a bad play. I totally forgot this was on a board. So, yeah. But the rivalry comes in clutch here because that is a beast warrior and that is a wing beast. And that does not work, folks. That is, does not work. So if he uses diagram, which I don't suspect he would do. I don't think he's going to go for a diagram. What I think he's going to do is just, yeah, go for an attack. So now what we can do here is use Swallow Slash. And Swallow Slash is going to come in very helpful right now. Oh, that's actually going to get a card back. That's cool because that's going to get that back. But that's going to die at the end turn. So that's 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 fine. I, he, he's saying thank you like, that's a, like, that, that, like that was cool. But, I mean, I'm getting a free Banshee out. So that's like that doesn't bother me. In the slightest, because not only do we have solitaire, we also have Furlan in the graveyard. So yeah, we're, we're definitely going to be able to get some shit going here. Oh, now that's a fucking fantastic card, because um, now we're, we're, we're definitely going to be putting, definitely going to be whipping our opponent's ass real quick. So we're going to get a freeze on we're back on the field, and now that we have sunset in our hand, we can keep the solitaire for next turn because what we can do here. It's used. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Yeah, we can. He's probably going to warning it. Does he have a warning or a judgment? He has something. We know he has a true king in his hand. Ooh, a solemn warning. Too bad that we have just great cards sitting in our deck. So now what we're going to do here, where is our... Oh, I was about to say, where the fuck is our goddamn Unizombie? So now he's probably just going to quit. So what we're going to do here is use Unizombie. And what we're going to do is send ourselves a Mizuki and then... <laughs> We're just going to just massively gain a lot of advantage now because now we're going to get the sunset back. And then the sunset is just going to get me into the spiritualist. And I want to say the Mizuki. I really do want Mizuki because that's cool. Because we just get Forlorn back and then just like gain all that attack. But then again, if we also, you know what? I think we go, yeah, we just go Bloom here. Yeah, we just go Bloom here because it's just easily better. Um, cause now what we can do, oh, well, we can also go Shogun Saga, but no, we're going to go into sucker and then bloom is going to trigger giving us uh, a drew shell for free out. And then now this game is just pretty much over. There's nothing really our opponent can do. We can target this and literally target anything in his graveyard. But uh, since the ash blossom exists, we're going to do that. Then we're going to chain young drew shell and then we're going to banish his young, uh, fire thing. Oh, and then our opponent just rage quits out of the game because he was not able to handle the stun net.
All right, so now we're going up against Propane Man. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what our opening hand is. And it's just a bunch of fucking... Oh, God, that was bad. Look at this hand. Not the greatest, but I guess we can just start off with a Link Karibo. And since we do have Ash, I guess we can just work our way with that. Um, and this, see, this is the problem with stun decks for me. <laughs> this exact problem right here. You can open up, you can open up just a lot of, of badness. And that's why I, I, I really love playing combo decks, uh, especially with zombies. is because, you know, in any other, like, extender, like Instant Fusion or something. Oh, shit. Oh, God. All right, we're in a little bit of trouble here. Um, so you know what? I think I'm gonna let him resolve that Dragoons. I think I want to let him resolve that Dragoons Because he's gonna get Megalo and then if I just banish Dragoons Yeah, we're gonna do that because like I said we have Froyline to protect our life points See and this is where fucking null this see this would have been a null in what's the name? Dragwood uh, Because and I know what you think. Why did it just call by the great? Well folks I want him to be like Mermels are on the deck that they can just keep outsourcing you. There's that guy That's not good for us um, but we do have a four loin. See, look, see, not look, look at that. He look, and I'm gonna let him use all of these cards. He's gonna probably quit. Yeah, this is what he's probably gonna do. Oh my God. Oh, is he gonna use? Oh, Megalo too. Oh yes, that's fine. We're gonna hit him one, one call by the grave. Holy dear. Oh dear. Now that hurts. Now that hurts. Mr. Propane Man is out of propane right here. Negated. Negated. Oh, and we didn't even banish the one that he targeted. Isn't that lovely? So now, uh, he literally has to have just a shitload of other things to do. And he does. He has a swap frog. All right. Um, he's not. Oh, he's actually able to send. Um, this gets him a token, but it banishes as well. Hmm. I think I ash this, huh? Yeah, we'll ash it. We'll ash it. We didn't. We didn't. I mean, technically, that was kind of. No, no. He has, uh, he has a sphere in his hand. So if he does bounce it, he has to bounce another water. To sit another water and then he has to literally hit what the fuck are we playing christians he has to literally hit basically yeah he, i mean we we can still win we can still come back and win there's a glow bloom yeah we're gonna hit the glow bloom we're gonna get ourselves another forlorn because that's how this that's how this deck works all right we just survive he has no frog in the grave so there's no ronin tone action going on this adds a christian monster from your deck to your hand but that doesn't do anything too well um and yeah man i think we're i think we're just all fine and dandy man uh like i said this could have been a nolan uh nolan what's the name dragwood and then i would gain 824,028, and basically subsequently whatever else he goes into um what can this target he targets a lanny to bring back out yeah like i said he he's he's done and i'm just gonna beat him all i have to do is just get rid of mullen glacier and i have another turn as long as this is not on the field actually yeah he doesn't have any more dragoons so yeah he's pretty much done and that's why you kind of could wait um it could have actually ended up very bad for us because we did use the ash blossom and shit like that like we just used it terribly probably should have just mo like did that okay so he's probably going to go summon sorcerers here but once again he can't attack there's no way he can possibly get over the forloin i don't think they play anything that uh i i, I mean i would hope they do don't play some shit like that to where they can um pretty much OTK but what was the point of that what the fuck was the point of that um so yeah we could have just held the ash to be honest with you but you know we still got kind of got a mullen glacier dish now um so yeah I, I, I don't know I, I think we're I think still think we're good because I mean oh wait yeah because if, if he goes into the level seven he can't do damage and so then I just I was still probably bring out Froyloin because I just want that extra, I just want that zombie. So then when I know I'm summoning Mizuki, I'm able to go sucker. Sucker gets me out of zombie and then we can go from there. But sadly, both of our blooms are banished. But I think there's a way we can get out of that. I think there's a way, depending on what we draw, we can probably get out of this situation. Um, if we could draw a solitaire and don't have to, if we could draw solitaire, we're good. If we can draw fucking Unizombie, like I said, we're good. There's a lot of things we can draw to be actually good. Um, but I, I would assume he what he would not go what's the name right now and if he doesn't that's completely fine I probably won't drop Froloin. Actually, I still will I still will drop Froloin. Um, and my god the, this would have been Nolan boom like actually I wouldn't even have Nolan boom in my hand because I searched both of those before I mean with bloom <laughs> Oh you went gumbler Why'd you go gumbler? 
did he go gumbler like that was a smart decision and you didn't even use like the other Christian in your graveyard unless you just don't play another one I'm just gonna discard Mizuki you idiot like what, what are you doing <laughs> oh man this this game is over bro <laughs> two rage quits all right man I think that's enough all right folks so a great introduction back to the channel um yeah man uh I, I know this deck needs work so you know hold all of that this i just let me play with it first um, it definitely needs some work uh probably some draw engines um i, I i'm more than likely sure that goblin's is gonna get cut so i think i should just cut it right now um to just be done with the card but i don't know really what to replace it with uh, i know we need some draw power so i'll probably have to throw some dangers or something in here um, I, I kind of do want to throw a lore, but a lore and, and probably seven traps is too much. But you know, it's trying to be a, a all pace game. Probably some twin twisters as well. There's a lot of stuff we can definitely throw in this deck. But like I said, I just want to get a little. Just just want to run wild with my ideas first before I turn stuff off or take stuff out of the deck. I'm pretty sure one for one. I don't even know why I'm playing this card because it was always lackluster every time I played it. So you know what? We're gonna cut Goblin Zombie in one for one, and we're gonna throw in some Twin Twisters because all these decks nowadays play this stuff. So we're gonna throw in some Twin Twisters. I guess that can also count as discard. Not not no. I was gonna say draw power, but it's really just discard fire to get most of these cards out of your hand. Um, so yeah, we'll work with this and we'll see what we got going on. Um, like I said, this is just a working change. Um, I mean, a work in progress. So we're going to just roll with that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. The hope you guys uh, could, uh, you know, ex it, it, please forgive me for that week long break that I wasn't supposed to take. And uh, yeah, man, hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. And I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you guys want to help the channel, links are in the description down below. And yeah, man, we're going to just continue pushing on with this deck and see what we can get.